least once in every duck hunter's career, I believe he should experience the adventure and the challenge of freelance hunting in the vast northern prairie. There's something strangely therapeutic about a long road trip and a time where your whole world revolves around finding and securing the next hunt. Because let's be honest, there's just a lot you can't see from 30,000 feet. And the things you earn are always a bit sweeter than those things that are given to you. My trip to Canada every year is an adventure into a world where for a time, everything revolves around the vast open expanses of agriculture, where the water's at, and when the next flight of birds might happen. As American hunters, we have very little real perspective on how far and how expansive the route that our feathered friends travel in order to entertain us each winter. But everybody should experience it. A place where what you do revolves around when the sun rises and when the sun sets instead of a well-organized calendar of scheduled appointments. Where you have to think hard to remember what day of the week it is and where nobody reminds you that you've been wearing the same clothes for nearly a week straight. But maybe my favorite thing about Canada is that when you dig deep, when you really work for it, when you burn the fuel, when you go the extra mile and put in the extra time, Canada typically meets your effort with huge numbers and epic memories. And while duck hunting isn't just about the killing, let's not kid ourselves, the best hunting memories of all are of the big piles and the giant smiles.
Oh, that was unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had it. <laughs> he landed right in the pile. <laughs> and that's where he goes. While there's lots of great trips, lots of great hunts, and it's funny how some memories just stick out in your mind more than others. Maybe it's the color of the sunrise. Maybe it's the people that were there. Maybe it's the sound of the wings or the close proximity to their feet down. Or maybe it's a little bit of all of that. One thing is for sure though, as I point this truck south, there's some images from this trip that will be forever ingrained in my mind. See you next year, Canada.